Hey, never really done this before, but we're going to go ahead and time uh, 0 to 60 on the Z3 with uh, my other phone as a stopwatch. So here we go. And go. And stopped at 15.32. Not that impressive. Hello, happy people, and welcome to your Moment of Zed, the YouTube channel dedicated to the most beautiful car in the world, the BMW Z3, or as the folks in Castletown call it, the Z3. Today, we're going to do something that I mentioned in my last video. We're going to go ahead and remove the 25 year old spare tire spare tire carrier tray and the cage in order to lose a little weight. We'll see how it affects the performance. This is a mod that many of you have already done. Next week, I'll get into what I replaced the spare tire with, but today we're just gonna take it off and do that zero to 60 run again and see if we see a difference. But first, three Zeds of the week. And first up, we have Ryan from San Antonio, Texas with his 2002 three liter automatic roadster in a beautiful Dakar yellow. I think that's the first one we've had on the channel. It has a new fuel pump, wheels and tires, and he is seriously considering doing a manual swap. A great idea, beautiful car, Ryan. Next, we have Debbie with her 1998 1.9 liter five speed, which she just recently purchased with 79,000 miles on it. Now, Debbie had always wanted a small convertible. She originally looked at Mazdas, but didn't like the newer styles. And then she found the Z3. She had all the major work done by the previous owner, which is nice. She's done the small stuff like headlight renewals, seat bushings, interior renewal, the antenna grommet, and a new front badge. And she has some very nice words to say about the content in the channel. Thank you very much, Debbie. Beautiful car. And finally, Shubham from North Carolina with his 1999 1.9 liter automatic. Must be a day for Atlanta blue cars. He rode in originally with a technical issue. He had a check engine light and a tranny light. Looked like he had a, a bad transmission solenoid. So we talk back and forth about that. He had a great story about his dad surprising him with a car. And Shubham, I'd love you to write me back and tell you uh, tell me how that uh, repair worked out for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, folks, for sharing your beautiful cars. As always, if you'd like to see your car in Z of the week, go ahead and follow the instructions in the description below. Now let's get under the car and lose some weight. Okay, so quick change into my working on cars clothes. And as you can see, I've already removed the spare tire and the tray. Now, if you don't know how to do that yet and you still plan on using a spare tire, it would be a good idea to check out my video I did, gosh, probably about a year and a half ago about how to lower this, how to inspect it, etc. So that link is in the description. As you can see, I've also got the car up on the Rhino ramps and the video about those was one of my first and that link is also in the description. So all we have to do now is remove the cage and talk about the little hole we're gonna be left with once we do. Okay, so we're up underneath the car and you know, as I was looking at this, it's almost a shame I'm taking it off. It's such a well-designed item and it really is German engineering at its best. It's, it's such a compact, it just, it's perfect, but uh, first step once the cage is down and we're looking at where the cage mounts to the actual apparatus to lower it so that's that cable and this is all one piece except for the rubber gasket which uh, protects the inside of your trunk and all we have to do is unscrew the actual metal cable from this threaded part. That's the only articulation we've got. To do that, I use a small vice grip, loosened it up, it turns normally, and then I can just do the rest by hand. And you can kind of see uh, how much of that 
the end of that cable is threaded into this uh, threaded receiver and there we go. So good half inch of threading on that cable and now the cage is completely free. to go basically all the way to the ground. Okay, so all we have left to go is to remove the long bolt that uh, connects the two sections of the hinge or connects the, the hinge to the actual cage itself. And that's a 10 millimeter nut. And on this side, I'm just gonna use a pair of vice grips. and actually it turns very easily which is nice okay and you actually have a kind of that one piece nut and washer bmw likes to use a lot and then that guy will slide right out boom and the cage is down Now there are plastic washers in here, which don't seem to want to come out. Well, actually they do. There we go. So I'm going to take those out so I don't lose them, don't lose them on the road. And just kind of, uh, push and pull those out. And there you go. And now this piece, the upper part of the hinge is welded in, so that's not going anywhere and that's fine. But as you can see, not only have we lost some weight, but we've got access to a bunch of other things uh, that I'm going to have to work on soon, including new shocks, uh, changing the differential fluid, the differential uh, bushing, a lot of things that are coming up next year after the holidays, hopefully. So... There we go. We're gonna go ahead and weigh these things now. So I'm interested to see how much weight we actually lost. So we've got a doctor scale here and let's go ahead and take a look. First, we'll start with the tire. And just about 25 or 26 pounds. Then onto the cage, which obviously is gonna weigh quite a bit less. And right at about seven pounds for the cage. So we're at 32 pounds, I'm going to say, so far. And then finally the tray, which is probably going to be pretty light, but... And right around three pounds for the tray. So we've lost about 35 pounds in less than an hour. Well, I wish I could do that to myself. So looking back in the trunk, what we're left with is a hole where the cable we unscrewed went through to lower and raise the cage. I'm probably going to cover that with flex tape on both sides. That was a suggestion from a viewer, which coincidentally came in last week. On the other side, we have a hole where this large washer used to sit, and the bolt from the other side of the cage came up through there. That mounted like that. Then you have the storage tray, which went on it, and the actual bolt from the cage screwed into this little cap that held the storage tray steady. So without any of that, we're going to have a loose storage tray. It's going to rattle around. I could just delete the storage tray too, and I could cover these two holes with, or this hole with flex tape, which I might do, but I think I'm going to search for a more permanent solution. I'm going to rig something up and actually just make another video out of it. I don't have time to do it today, and... So check that out when I do it. Now it is time to try zero to 60 again and see what the difference is. And go. And stop at, wow, what an improvement. So folks, there you have it, an amazing increase in performance. If you found this content valuable, please 
crush that like button. And until next time, remember, friends don't let friends drive boring.